Good morning, dear friends, and greetings to all of you who are listening this meditation. And let us spend a few minutes today, this morning, before we begin our day, from God's Word. In uh, the First Thessalonian letter, written by Paul, chapter 1, verses 5 to 10, Paul outlines the gospel in three progressive stages. To the church in Thessalonica, he writes, Number one, our gospel came to you. That is in verse five. And number two, you welcomed the message. That is in verse six. And number three, the gospel rang out the message. And from you, it has gone to other cities and countries. Verse 8. This is the way the gospel has been uh, reaching the whole world. The gospel came to you, you received it, and you passed it on. These are the three stages, progressive stages, in the spreading of the gospel of Jesus Christ all over the world. Now, it started in the book of Acts, chapter 2, on the day of Pentecost, uh, under the power of the Holy Spirit, Apostle Peter, uh, along with the 11 other disciples, preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. And 3,000 of those people who gathered there believed and were baptized and joined to the church. And they were made disciples. And there were about 16 nationalities who came to Jerusalem during those days for the celebrations of the Passover. And remember, Jesus was crucified on the day of Passover. And wherever these disciples went, they began to preach and share the same gospel as given to them. And wherever they went and preached, many people believed. And thus it began to progress and grow. Soon the gospel reached from Jerusalem to Judea, then to Samaria, and then to the uttermost part of the earth. That was the plan of Jesus Christ. That was the commission given. And thus Christianity became, today, the largest religious faith. This was the Great Commission. When the Lord commissioned the disciples before he ascended into heaven. Now he said, you go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. That means you preach this gospel of salvation to every kindred and every tribe and every language and every nation. Till the gospel of salvation in Jesus Christ reaches to the ends of the earth. As it, I want to ask this question. This was God's plan. This was what Jesus meant. And this is the reason why he chose these disciples, trained them for three and a half years, and empowered them by sending the Holy Spirit from a heavenly throne and anointing them and ever since they received the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost, they never looked back. They went forward, declaring to everyone the unchanging gospel of salvation in Jesus Christ. Until today, it has become the number one religious faith in the world. Because they were obedient. So the question that I would like to ask is this. 
as this gospel reached in your neighborhood are we doing our part in taking the light of this gospel to the darkness of this world places where this gospel of good news this good news of salvation in jesus christ there are so many places even today which have not heard this message of hope and a message of a life beyond this life there are still hundreds of villages in india and hundreds of people groups in india who have not heard this message and yet jesus died for every single person living on planet earth or ever lived before and living at present and ever will come to live here on earth those of you who are believers and followers of jesus christ it is our duty now in our generation that we must do what our former generation disciples of christ have done they carried on this responsibility and now it is our time to carry on let the message go far and wide and spread and grow and increase and fill the earth the salvation in jesus christ and we must take this only message that gives hope an assurance of salvation and forgiveness of sin and eternal life and a life beyond this present life which is everlasting and this is the only message and therefore we cannot hide this message we cannot keep it to ourselves it is for every person on planet earth so only the light of the gospel of jesus christ can give people the assurance of forgiveness of sin assurance of salvation and a guarantee for eternal life which is the very purpose of god in creating humanity and we are given the grace to understand this and submit ourselves to this message and the one who came down from heaven with this blessing hallelujah and therefore it is your responsibility it is my responsibility let us do it for the glory and the honor of the lord jesus christ who paid that big big price for our salvation he became the sacrificial lamb from god for the sins of the whole world and we were enlightened and we were given grace to acknowledge him and now let us take him and present jesus christ to the only savior of the world to our neighbors to our friends our colleagues our people everywhere god bless you as you give yourself to this you owe it to god and so do it and dedicate your lives and the prayer is prayer lord i want to be your instruments in your hand to convey this only message of hope and salvation and forgiveness of sin to people around me the world around me i may not be able to travel to the ends of the earth but i can travel to the ends of the boundaries of my city my village my town my state and my country so here i am lord take me fill me with your spirit and use me i am here pray that prayer and give yourself to him god bless you as you do it amen This is a wonderful day he has given you. Enjoy your time 
today and have a good day. Amen.